Hi everyone, it's Lisa Cronin from It's the Little Things in Card Making and I had a suggestion from one of my new subscribers thank you Margaret Ann she suggested that I do something with the negative piece of the um, the foil quills when I was testing them out and playing with them I had done some foiling on pattern paper and she suggested that my negative piece would maybe make a nice card as well. So that's what we're going to do today. I still had everything. I still had my tracing paper. I still had the little foiled piece. And now I'm going to be using the negative. So what I'm going to do is, I'm first of all, I'm going to place it on a an ivory white piece of card. And this is what it looks like now. And I'm going to put it through my mink machine and we'll see how it comes out. Now, there is a covering of plastic to these foils and I'm going to leave that on. I'm not going to take that off. So if you give me a moment. I'm letting that run through my machine. And it's going to be a simple birthday card. What I did was I took this die, and I'm sorry, I cannot even tell you whose die this is. I apologize. But I wanted some leaves or something surrounding that basic, um, not basic, but that central image of the foil. And I didn't want to put more flowers on because I thought, you know, that I don't think that would have really looked so nice. So these are just basic like vines and leaves. So I ran this through and this is what I got, which looks so pretty. Very pretty. Let me shut my machine off. Now, Typically what you would do after you run something through a make machine is you would peel off the top, I guess, protective cover or, um, I don't even know, release paper, I guess you would call it. But what happens when you do that is you don't really get full coverage. I've tried it on the hottest settings. I put shims in. Um, it just, for some reason, just doesn't take it all off. If I put it through several times, what happens is the finish, and I'll show you an example of that, the finish gets kind of funny. So this is an example of that. And this is the finish that you get. It, it's, I guess it's okay, but I, I don't know. It just, it dulled it. I, I just, I don't like the way it works. So I'm going to keep this protective plastic piece um, on. And which is fine because it's, it's a little difficult to get up anyway. Um, so it is kind of, it, it's kind of adhered, but it's not adhered like forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape the sides just to make sure that the edges are down as long as the edges are down I think the rest of it should be fine so I'm gonna do that with 1 8 score tape and then I am going to cut it just a little bit so that it fits properly because I have I have a frame I'm gonna be using a frame and I will frame it up. Now I want to be careful. I don't want to go on to, ah, it might be a little close. We'll see what happens. I really don't want to go too close into the foiling because I have to make sure it's going to fit my, the inside of my frame without it showing. But we'll see. Let's see what happens. And this should keep everything 
in place. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is cut off a little bit of the excess here. Let's see how it's going to fit my frame or how my frame is going to fit it. Very good. I don't see I don't see any of the tape. So that's that's what I wanted to be sure of. So this is the frame that I'm using. And I'm going to double up on this frame as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the backing paper. And I'm looking for my little knife. And here it is. Okay. And I think this is going to look very pretty. Now, if you could see... As I'm, as I'm pulling up this tape, the edge looks a little different, like it's starting to pull up. But I am going to try to press it down as much as I can, and it will stay in place. Okay, I think the fan is home, so I might have to pause you. I know how to do that now. But um, let's see what happens. Okay, I wanted to get this up. I haven't done a video in a few days. And I didn't want you to think that I forgot about you. Okay, now I'm going to take the score tape off of the frame. And we're almost there. Now I'm going to be very careful about how I put this down because once it goes down, it's very hard to get it up. I think I need some, um, a release paper. Am I going to find it? I don't think so. So, let me just be very careful. I want to cover the glue and I want to make sure it's even and that this frame is doing its job. I don't want to see any of that ivory inside the frame and we did good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the excess here. I had to um, put the negative piece onto a little bit of a, a bigger background just to make sure if it moved, it would still stay on this white piece here. So I knew I was going to be cutting it down. Alrighty. We're almost there. Alright. So I am now going to double up the frame. Put it right on top. I'm going to be using some glue for that. Yes, glue. I'm going to be using some glue. Okay, I'll be using a different kind of glue. Um, let's see. Oh, yuck. You see what I did? Put much too much glue on there. So, we are going to take a lot of this off. Must be the end of the bottle. Which is why that happened. Anytime you use foil or acetate, <laughs> try not to use too much glue like I just did. It's very hard to get it off once it gets onto foil or acetate. Paper, not so, you know, it's not so bad. Okay. Trying to get some of the excess off here. 
and I use Tom Tombow Mono Adhesive. And it does dry clear. And I'm just hoping that um, none of it gets onto the foil. No, a little dead. I can erase that off um, the card, the paper. So pretty, right? Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. I am going to take a wipe. For my hands, because I'll be sticking to everything if I don't. Alrighty. Okay. So now, what we have to do, we have to adhere our die cut onto this. A2 size card and it's 110 pounds. It's not Nina Solo White, it's an ivory. Okay. And I don't think I want to go through that glue thing again. So I'm going to pick something else. Here's my glue. I'm going to do the um, edges and little bits. I'm going to do the edges and just little bits in the middle, like the little largest pieces. You don't have to glue the whole thing. So I'm just going to go here and there, wherever I think I can get away with putting glue without it showing. And... I think that's good enough. And now I'm just going to mount it. Okay, if you feel like one of your pieces are a little smaller than the base, try to pick it up to the score line, because you can always cut the bottom of it and the sides of it. But you can't cut the, it's the bent, you know, the score line side. And I am just trying to get it in place, hold it down a little bit. And if I need to add a little bit more glue, I will do that. But I can see here I'm a little short. It looks good on this side. So I will trim this off. This I'm going to mount, oh look at that, I'm going to mount this right in the center and I think I'm going to use glue for that. Now I know one of these sides, the foil wasn't perfect some foil came off. So I'm going to put that on the left hand side. It's a little wiggle room when you use liquid glue. Just want to make sure it's centered. And press down. Okay. So from a design standpoint, it looks good, however, however, I want to put a little black in with that gold because I think that would make it look very nice. So what I'm going to do, well, what I had done already is I've taken some black um, oh, glitter paper <laughs> and I used one of my dyes to make little dots. And then what I did is I took the little dots and I, I just put black on the side because I thought the white would stand out just too much. So I'm going to put some in the middle 
right here one of the flowers very 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 little glue put a little bit of glue there just to help pick up the pieces and lay them down I don't know if you can see what I'm doing And another one. And another one. And one more. And I just thought it would... It'd be nice if it had a little bit of a, a sparkle to it. I don't know if you could see it. But, um, yeah. A little bit. A little bit you could see it. Again, I'm going to take my little sparkle paper. I'm going to put a tiny bit right in the center of this flower. And another one right here. I'm going to put another one. And a couple more in this large flower here. Just a few little drops there. And, well, I might as well start with the larger ones. Because it's the largest flower. One of the larger flowers. So yeah, I'm so glad that Margaret made this suggestion because tell you the truth, I didn't even think about it. And when she said something about it, I was like, you know what? She's right. I didn't even think about it. And so thank you. If anybody else has suggestions as I'm creating and working and, you know, they want to see me try something. By all means, leave a comment in the comment section and I will do my best to show you whatever you need me to show you. But it's true. I mean, it's, you know, you do get curious and wonder how things would look with other things and if something could be done and... It's just natural, especially, you know, when you're creative and you're creating. I mean, I know that's a big thing for me. If I think about, oh, I wonder what would happen if I did this or I did that. And I just, I have to do it. I can't, I can't just stay with the imagine. I have to see what it looks like. So, yeah, I'm always curious that way. And I think I'm almost done with this flower. Maybe one more. And I think that's it. No, I think that's it. So, this is what we have. 
I think it looks pretty. I never would have thought to do it. I'm very happy the way the make machine adhered it to that paper. I'm glad I doubled up on that frame. And this is just going to be a very simple happy birthday card. So, this, all I did was heat emboss it. And now to decide where it goes. I think I'm going to put it right onto the gold. Because when when I did the heat transfer with the, with the pens... I didn't, I made a very small piece, so I didn't really go all the way to the edge. This is where I had it taped. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to adhere it. And if I can get it to, no, I can't. I was going to say, if I can get it to go underneath that frame, I would try. So I'm just going to cut it. Use a little bit of glue and glue it right down. And that, that area was kind of empty anyway. What do you think? Okay, for a little finishing touch. I'm going to take one or two of these little um, black sparkles and should I just throw them around a little bit? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Kind of like it. So many times, you know, you can have a plan and then <laughs> as you're working, your plan changes or grows or it doesn't work out. But you keep trying. And I think I'm going to kind of hide the, uh, the design there because I, I wasn't able to get the happy birthday underneath. So we'll disguise it a little bit. One more, and we'll put it here. I didn't glue these down, but I just want to see how they looked. And I kind of like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so now let's glue them down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my tape here. I'm going to use my handy dandy toothpick. I'll tell you the truth. If they never made toothpicks, I wouldn't be able to craft. And all I'm doing is touching the glue. Then laying it down, pressing down a bit. So I guess now you can tell why I named my channel It's the Little Things in Card Making. I love detail work. I, you know, it's, it's a way of challenging myself. I'm going to keep that there for now. And this one because they're not being cooperative. Just get a little bit of glow. Yeah. You push this one into place. Just I think gives it a cleaner look. Will anybody know that it's not supposed to be there? I don't know. Maybe, if you're a card maker, you would say, hmm, what is she trying to hide? But I think 
I think it looks it looks better. It looks good. And there's my card. Very pretty. So I want to say thank you, Margaret Ann, <laughs> for the idea. And thank you all for tuning in and for stopping by and coming back. And thank you for commenting, sharing, liking, subscribing. It means an awful lot to me. I will see you next time. And the next time, remember the little things in card making. Bye now.